Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. To this new video. Thomas is about to do a second intro, so sorry about that. We added we added a rule midway through this video. So for this video There we go. We're also gonna be betting money. Ten dollars a question. If I get one wrong, I lose ten dollars. If he get if I get one right, Thomas loses ten dollars. We shall see who wins. And let's see, let's see if someone actually goes broke doing this. Happy 25 subscriber special, by the way. That's the reason we're doing this crap. For some reason, Thomas didn't make this quiz 25 questions, but... I guess that's what Thomas does. Anyway, um, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Our next goal is 50 subscribers, so if you can get us there, it'd be greatly appreciated. Goodbye. Back to the video. Hello, YouTube! Welcome to The Thomas Show. That's right, I've taken over Devlin's channel for one day and one day alone, specifically to celebrate his achievements. Devlin, if I'm correct, uh, your channel has reached 25 subscribers, is that correct? Yes, 28 to be more exact. Damn, we're already Dab. at 28. We're, we're behind the curve now. Dab. So, da dab on them haters. Uh, but Devlin, I thought it was very cool that you got this far, and personally, I've loved getting to do a bunch of Pokemon videos with you, specifically Pokemon Xenoverse dab. and Pokemon Uranium. Dab. Dab. Uh, dab! It's a type of fish. Uh, and so I figured that one fun way that we could do this is that we could play a little game testing your Pokemon knowledge. Specifically, I'm playing a game called Um Actually. Uh, for those of you at nice. home, yeah. For those of you who don't know at home, uh, um, actually, is a trivia-based game that follows this one simple rule. I have a bunch of different statements lined up in front of me that are all purposefully incorrect. They are inaccurate statements, and your job, Devlin, as my one and only player, is to guess what is incorrect about these statements. Uh, I have lined up here a series of 20 questions plus five special questions that I will discuss the rules of as we go. Uh, the only major rules that you need to know going in is every statement must be followed by the words um actually, similar to Jeopardy rules. Uh, if you don't say them, I can't give you the point. That's just, them's just the breaks, kid. Uh, secondly, uh, you want to try and get as close to the answer as possible. I'll usually try to guide you there if it's like a little bit hard, but, uh, if it's, if you're close, but it's not quite there, I'll try and explain as I go. But basic rules, always say, um, actually, and, uh, you can also interrupt me at any time during the question. If you already know the answer, you can just say, I have the answer, or you can just automatically say, um, actually, just interrupt me like the most annoying nerd possible. Got it. All right, cool. Then, with all that being said, uh, we're going to get started. Also, if you notice, there's a big old two smacked up here. And that's because uh, we did we did one of these before. A few months ago, uh, and it deleted itself off my computer. So here we are again. Let's go. Dabs! All right, let's go. We're going to begin with your first question. This one is going to be about the Pokemon games, if it'll stay on. or the... Question two. Question two! Pokemon there we go. Game. Love this. Okay, so, for the Pokemon games. Making their first appearance in Pokemon Platinum, the traveling detective from the International Police, codenamed Looker, has canonically made an appearance in every core series game since, except Black 2 and White 2, and Sword and Shield. Um, actually, he did show up in Black 2 and White 2. That is incorrect. He did not show Fuck. up in Black 2 White 2. He didn't show up in, like, Ultra Sun and Moon or some crap, right? Uh, he did show up in Ultra Sun and Moon. What's the up actually? Uh, well, I wish that was... Uh, so I'll just give you the answer since I think this one's a little hard. Uh, the game that he actually... You were correct in assuming that there was a game that he... Uh, that there was another game. But in this case, he did not appear in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Which is a little weird because it's the game that's following right after. Oh, uh, <laughs> shit. I forgot about that. I yeah. thought that was in between. Okay. Yeah. So that's one point for me, baby. <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> Moving on to question two. This one is a Pokemon anime question. So, 
Pokemon contests in the anime work a little differently than they do in the video games. After completing the preliminary performance stage, coordinators compete in a battle stage in which coordinators compete in a 5 minute long Pokemon battles. The only way to win said battles is to decrease the opponent's points using stylish and beautiful moves. And apparently we went backwards. That's fun. Ah! Um, actually, you can make the opponent faint. Thank you, computer, for showing that. Yes. Uh, that no, is, I, 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 I knew that beforehand, though. Okay, cool. But yes, it's just like any other Pokemon battle. Uh, if you, you can also just win by making the Pokemon faint. It kind of takes a little bit of the luster out of it. But you know, you do what you do. Uh, so yeah, one point for you, Dev. Good job. <laughs> All right, comes the next question. This one is about the TCG game. It is unsurprising that Pikachu is the record holder for the highest number of unique Pokemon card designs at over 150 cards. Designs include Pikachu cosplaying as Mario, bowling, wearing a luchador outfit, and having a tea ceremony. Um, actually, in a card, Pikachu does not cosplay as Mario. That is incorrect. Fuck, it's bowling, isn't it? It is bowling. P there is no bowling Pikachu, much to my dismay. God uh, damn there it, is I should have guessed that one. That was my gut answer. My there logic <laughs> answer was Mario, but that was yeah. stupid. Luchador makes the most sense, because we all know about Pikachu Libre. Uh, and yeah, Tea Ceremony was a thing. And there is a really cute card of Mario of uh, Pikachu cosplayed as Mario, and also him cosplayed as Luigi, which I thought was very funny. God, it was between Mario and Bowling. Fuck. <laughs> My power grows. Another point on the board for me. All right, let's Damn. let's go on to our next question. This one is about Pokemon Masters. Pokemon Masters, now Pokemon Masters EX, allows you to team up with multiple important and powerful trainers from across the mainline games. However, up oh, we're losing it. However, the ranking of their abilities does not directly translate to their rarity. For instance, you have a higher chance of scouting Battle Tycoon Palmer than Kalos Elite 4 member Wickstrom, who has an even higher chance than Johto Gym Leader Morty. Um, actually, they all have equal rates. That is incorrect. Fuck, I don't know Pokemon Masters. That is fair. For one, yes, all of their rankings are different. However, the I was really cheeky with this answer. Because the answer really is that uh, as of 2022, uh, Battle Tycoon Palmer is not in Pokemon Masters yet. You're a bastard. Now we're betting money, so it's, so it's even better for me. Uh, we're going to move on to our next question. This one is about competitive Pokemon and just Pokemon in general. Smeargle is a normal type Pokemon introduced in Pokemon Gold, Crystal, and Silver. Though Smeargle can't use any technical machine to learn new moves, it can perform every um, actually, move. Actually, it cannot learn Dark Void either by using Sketch. That's not exactly what I'm going for. It might have. I have to. I have to fact check that. Uh, but uh, y you are correct that there are other moves that it cannot use. If you can name the specific move that I'm thinking of, I would give you the point. Topsy Turvy? That is incorrect. Uh, I'm going to put the answer that I have here, but I also fact checked and found that there are actually a lot of moves that it cannot copy. Uh, so, first I said, Smeargle cannot sketch the move Struggle, <laughs> which is just, that's just because Struggle is on the only move that you can get. Just when you have no PP left, you smear. I don't even count the move struggle as a move most of the time. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move on, and this is going to be our first shiny question. Uh, shiny questions are the special questions that I mentioned at the beginning of the game. They're a lot like shiny Pokemon. Uh, they're, your not, they're not worth any more points than a regular question. They're just a little bit different and a little bit more rare because there's only four of them in the game. Uh, so here comes your first shiny question. The name of this game is called Lost in Translation. So uh, in Pokemon games, we all know the loving Pokemon names. They're all kind of like clever puns or translations of things. But uh, Pokemon names are kind of universal. They're, they're not universal. They're uh, different across different countries and nationalities. 
And so I compiled a list of Pokemon uh, translated in different languages. Uh, just because of the nature of this game, I'm going to give you the option that if you can get one of these uh, correct, I will give you the point. So you have eight opportunities to get a point if you know any of these. Be Beto Chef? Beto Chef is your first one, yes. Oh, fuck. Just because this is... Uh, um, Slurpuff. It is not Slurpuff. Muramura. Muramura. Mura 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 mura. <laughs> it's fun to say. Murkrow. It is not Murkrow. Purin. Is that Meowth? It, it, it is not Meowth. No, you run now. <laughs> Dugados. This is my best one. This is my best shot. Gyarados. It is not Gyarados. <laughs> Fucking sucks. It's fucking, I don't know. Viscora. Um, <laughs> Gliscor. It's not Gliscor. Fuck. I sue beyond. Okay, this has to be an evolution. This has to be. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, which one? I'm guessing Ice. So Are there's you... Ice, Shen, Ron, and Dragon Ball. I'm guessing Glaceon. It is not Glaceon. Yo, this is a piece of shit game. I was about to say. Samuel. <laughs> I was about to say, are you are you having this up for the camera? Or do you are you literally just being just going in like it has to be. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be Samurai for Samoyoru. That is incorrect. That is not Samurai. Fuck. Daily Bird. You were close, but it is not Daily Bird. Fuck. Number eight. It Cramerks. Why I said you were close is like it is a bird, and you actually said it earlier, which is why I was like, mm, okay. Murkrow. It damn is, it! It is Murkrow. <laughs> I was between Murkrow and Daily Bird. I went Daily Bird. Damn it! Uh, this one is about the Pokemon anime. The Pokemon anime is no stranger to having episodes pulled from airing, but only five have been banned internationally. Ironically, the reasoning behind all of the bans goes back to the appearance of Porygon who was originally banned in episode 38 after his debut episode showed a series of flashing lights and sent approximately 685 Japanese children to the hospital with symptoms of epilepsy. Um, actually, the episodes had more than one reason for being banned internationally. It was not just Porygon. One guy had a fucking shotgun and tried to shoot the kids. That is correct. Uh... You, uh, I will give you the point just because your first answer was right, but that episode still aired in Japan. I'm talking about these band all over the world. Uh, uh, yeah, but you are right, so I will give you the point for that. Uh, do not you all mean, like the episode where uh, earthquakes. If you've ever read the Pokemon Adventures manga, you would see that all protagonists of the series actually nickname their Pokemon. They started simple, but got more complex as the series progressed. X from X and Y uses French names of his Pokemon. Sun from Sun and Moon uses his after names his after global currencies. And Sword from Sword and Shield names his after weapons. I'll admit, this one is another bastard answer. This one's about the Pokemon movies. In Pokemon the movie Hoopa and the Clash of Ages, Hoopa tries to prove its strength by summoning and defeating every legendary Pokemon in existence. Well, at least up to Generation 7. Or, sorry, Generation 6. Um, actually, he only summons Pokemon up to Generation 5. That is... Hmm. I'm... I'm tempted to give it to you. Wait, it's Generation 4, isn't it? Because I remember Arceus being in that movie, but I don't remember. I thought I remembered Zekrom and Rushram, but it's not. I don't think they show up. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to give the answer here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to give it to you because, yeah, the real answer is that there are many legendary Pokemon that are not in this movie. The lore behind Mega Evolutions has changed around many times. The legend in Kalos states that Mega Evolution began from the firing of the ultimate weapon, while Oras states that Rayquaza was the first Pokemon to Mega Evolve and brought Mega Stones down to Earth from a meteor. 
Now, Mega Evolution is frowned upon as their decks entries speak about the pain and aggression caused by this transformation. Um, actually, the Legend of Kalos does not state that Mega Evolution began from the firing of the ultimate weapon. That is a point for you, Devlin. That is correct. That is a point for you. That last segment is fucking stupid. Mega Evolution is not frowned upon because their deck entries state of pain and aggression caused by this transformation. Mm. Fuck off. Yeah, it really was just a way of, uh, like, Gen 6, they were like, Oh, Mega Evolution, the true power between your bonds is Pokemon and Trainer, and Sun and Moon came around, and they were like, Yeah, actually, it's horrible, and you shouldn't do it. Let's have Z-moves instead. That's so much better, right? And then Ash in the anime is now using Megas. And then people in the anime are still using Megas. Sun and Moon anime, they still use yeah. Megas. Yeah, what Freaking... was what was the point? <laughs> what was the um, point? Let's go Pikachu and Eevee even used Megas. Like, come on, man. Bert, just bring back Megas. Just... One's a Pokemon game question. Every hardcore Pokemon fan has attempted a Nuzlocke run of their favorite Pokemon game. But not many know the origins of the challenge. Apparently, it dates back to a comic series named Pokemon Hard Mode, which featured a Nuzleaf resembling John Locke, a character from the TV show Lost. I have no fucking (laughs) clue. Yeah, this one is... None at all. Pokemon Hard Mode sounds like a basic bitch answer. I mean, basic bitch comic from a while ago, so I'm going to keep that... Uh, but it was called Nuzlocke from the start. God damn it, go to the next question. I should, <laughs> this I should is, not. This is you shameful. You fucking grimaced. You fucking grimaced <laughs> when I said, okay, I'm going to keep the series name. Yeah, I was like, god damn it, <laughs> Devlin, no. So, I'm going to say for a minute or so, I'm going to count in my head, and I've got a timer over here. Uh, you have to name out for me as many bug type moves as you can. That is the you have to name all these in the category, and if you're able to keep it going until time runs up, uh, you'll get the point. If you misspeak or you wait longer than like five seconds, then you lose the point. Oh, okay. Okay. Your time starts now. String shot, leech life, twin needle, mega horn. Pin Missile, X Scissor, Leech Life, Bug Bite. <laughs> you were so close. Bug Buzz. Shit, why'd I, why'd I say all Three, so two, one. Bug Bite. You said Bug Bite already. <laughs> bug Punch. Bug Punch is not a move, I'm sorry. Bug Punch. Who hasn't heard of Bug Punch? Who hasn't heard of Bug Punch? Signature move bug of Punch. Pic- signature bug move. Bug Rip. Yeah. <laughs> bug him up. A bu- bug him up. On Pokemon's 25th anniversary, a special music video was released on YouTube to the sound of Japanese rock band Pump of Ch- Bump of Chicken song Acacia. Among all of the nostalgic references. Some may never notice that the video ends at the 2 minute 31 second mark. This equates to 151 seconds, the same amount of Pokemon in the first Pokemon games. Um, actually, for that video, it was not referenced as Acacia. It was referenced as a different name. Hmm, this is a little tricky. But I'm not going to take the technicality on this one because the name of Bump of Chicken song was Acacia. Uh, okay, um, actually, it did not end at the 2 minute 31 second mark. Alright, I'll give it to you. You you scraped your way through. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the point. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Pokemon Ranger Guardian Signs was released as the final entry in the Pokemon Ranger series. As such, the team decided to, d- to celebrate their series by making the main antagonist of the game the Sinister Seven, I'm um, te- actually the main antagonists are not the Sinister Seven. That is correct. Yes, because uh, that I, I all, know. yeah, all this is a lie. We've joked about this so many times before. Uh, the real name of the evil team were the Pokemon Pinchers, uh, and they looked like fucking Rangers, like fucking Forest Scouts out there, uh, and the Society. Pokemon Snap for Nintendo 64 gave players a chance to see Pokemon out in the wild. 
though not all of them. While the original Red and Blue had 151 Pokemon, with Mew only available by exploiting glitches and special events, Pokemon Snap only had 64 Pokemon, referencing the console that was its home. Um, actually, Pokemon Snap did not have 64 Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna need you to be more specific. Do you think it, in this case, do you think it had more or less Pokemon? What? That, that wasn't a fucking thing for the other questions. Uh, I just need I just need it for me because <laughs> um actually it has less than sixty four Pokemon. That is correct. <laughs> Good job. Um, hundreds of Pokemon have appeared across thousands of TV episodes and nearly two dozen movies. Yet most of them have remained utterly incomprehensible to their human viewers. While a few Pokemon can speak the human languages like Meowth and Mewtwo. Most of them can only say variations of their name, like Goldeen and Pikachu, or make incomprehensible sounds, like Staryu and Victory Bell. I can hear the gears in your head turning, because you're thinking, how much of a dick was he on this question? Yes, exactly, that's the question. <laughs> that's the question every time. Technically, anything over a thousand is, I mean, it's just... More hundreds. You don't get to thousands. <laughs> over 2,000. Oh my god. I did not think this was the twist you would take. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. 10. I'm um, actually Mewtwo cannot speak the human language. He can only think it to other people via mind speak. Devlin. That's a point for you. Wow. Good. That was some BS. I was thinking that, that was the entire some, time. It was some big BS because Mewtwo does not actually speak. He uses telepathy. Pokemon Go is an AR mobile game that lets you capture Pokemon out in the real world. But not all Pokemon are available everywhere. Without special events, Tauros is only found in most parts of um, North America. Actually, Togepi can be found in eggs. It is not only in Japan and South Korea. Devlin, that is a point for you. Well done. Yes, Togepi is not locked. Do you know which Pokemon is locked to Japan and South Korea? No clue. Uh, so, as we all know, the Pokedex uh. is full of wonderful information. Uh, little secrets and little tidbits that you probably wouldn't get just from playing the game. Uh, and they've been changed up many, many times throughout the games. Uh, so, what I have here is three very funny Pokedex entries that I really got a tickle out of. Uh, and... Uh, you have to tell me what Pokemon it is. They're all from different games. You don't have to tell me what games they're from, but you can just try and tell me what Pokemon they are. Uh, Shit, man. Uh, here is your first one. Number one is, it has a soft and bouncy body. Once it starts bouncing, it becomes impossible to stop. Spoink. It is not Spoink. Uh, this Damn it, that bastard dies if he stops bouncing, though. <laughs> he, he does. He does. Next entry. Yeah. This Pokemon protects itself by spraying poisonous sweat from its pores. That could be any fucking poison type. Mm, it really could be. I'm gonna go with Krogunk. This is not Krogunk. You're gonna fucking hate me. This is Umbreon. <laughs> what the Th f this Oh, this is some bullshit. This is he was originally gonna be the poison type one. I fucking hate this. Yeah. One of just one of its mighty hands has the power to make the ground shake and mountains crumble. Hands, so I'm guessing Catch these it's on hands. two feet. <laughs> it's on those two feet. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the mighty hands of Magnemite. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> show, show me Magnemite. Uh, I'm sorry to say this is not Magnemite. <laughs> this is Tyranitar from X version. Mighty. It just. It, it, he has little stubs for hands. It makes me laugh so hard. Like, in with these hands. <laughs> That was um, that's almost equivalent to me saying Magnemite then because he doesn't have hands either. <laughs> it all bounces out. One of the strangest oh, okay. One of the strangest cards in the trading card game is Happy Birthday Pikachu, whose art features Pikachu with a birthday cake and has a 50/50 chance of doing 50 extra points of damage if it's the player's birthday. Yeah, this this is one of them bullshit ones. <laughs> The video game developers behind Pokemon, Game Freak, have not always relied on their flagship series as their only source of revenue. 
In fact, to this day, they are releasing other projects unrelated to their creature-catching counterparts. Other games they've developed include Mendel Palace, Yoshi, Cube Buster, Drill Dozer, Harmonite, Tembo the Badass Elephant, and Little Town Hero. Um, actually, they've never made a Yoshi game. That is incorrect. They actually made the. F- they actually helped develop the first Yoshi game. <laughs> they sound like games, sure. Generation 2 introduced the concept of baby Pokemon, the lowest stage of Pokemon evolution that cannot themselves breed. Specifically, baby Pokemon can be classified by the following criteria. They must be obtainable by breeding, be able to evolve at least once, belong to the undiscovered egg group, and require maximized friendship to evolve. Um, actually, did it did not require maximized friendship to evolve. That is correct. A point on the board for you, Devlin. Another question about the anime. Oh, fuck. Who doesn't love Professor Oak? The original Pokemon professor from the Kanto region may seem like a wise old man, but his anime counterpart portrays him very differently. While he still dispenses important, useful information for Ash Ketchum's journey, he has been known to act as a guest lecturer, play video games, write haikus, and host summer camps. Um, actually, he does not play video games. Ooh, I was hoping this would catch you. <laughs> it's actually the haikus. He never actually writes out the haikus. He just says... Oh, he never fucking writes haikus? Fuck you. Pokemon Uranium... And I thought this was fun, because the last time we did, like... I guess it will now be considered the practice run. Uh, we did one about something that I've been doing. I thought we'd do something about something we're both doing. So this one is on Pokemon Uranium. Pokemon Uranium is a fan-made game based on the Pokemon series. It did not take long after its release in 2016 for the official download links to be removed after the developers received DMCA takedown notice letters from lawyers representing, uh, that was supposed to be Nintendo, oops. Uh, While many are still playing the game today, it will unfortunately never go on to gain any more than a cult following. Um, actually, it will never go, it has more than a cult following. That is correct, yeah. Uh, I'll put it up here, but, like, it actually did get something out of it. It was nominated for the Game Awards. It got an, it was going to get the Game Award for Best Fan Creation. Uh, Damn. Yeah, it was very surprising. However, it did not get succeeded. A lot of people theorize this is because Pokemon, the Nintendo was looking over there being like, um, excuse me? Uh, this is our final question, and it's appropriately titled, our final shiny question, it is titled, Maximum. Uh, what's going to happen is, I'm going to show you a statement similar to these here, but the thing is, it has multiple things wrong with it. Uh, I'll ask you now, do you want me to tell you, uh, seeing how this is going, I feel like I should tell you how many there are. There are three things wrong with this statement that's coming up, uh, and you have to try and get all three uh, to get the point. Okay. Um, actually, every mainland Pokemon game does not begin with you introducing yourself to the region's professor. That is our first one on the board, correct. Uh, do you know which game doesn't do this? Sword and Shield. That is correct, yeah. Sword and Shield, we are introduced through Chairman Rose. And we don't even do like a character intro. We just d- do it right before the game starts. Um, actually, they don't all have Japanese tree-inspired surnames. That is the second one, correct? Yep, not all of them are Japanese. Like, Kukui is found in, like, the ho- the Hawaii and Polynesian Islands. Um, actually, Sonia's last name is not Magnolia. That is not what we are going for. Uh, I'm tempted just because, like... Her old name is just Sonia throughout the game, but her grandmother's name is Professor Magnolia. But we don't know if it's a maternal grandmother. Mm, You might catch me on a technicality there. (laughs) All right. I will give you the point. (laughs) Yay! Uh, I will show you what the last thing was. Uh... I did say you had to get three things right in order to get it. Uh, There was one other thing, and that there was one more professor that had a full name. uh, Professor Juniper, whose first name is Aurea. (laughs) I am super proud of you, and I am happy to uh, do these videos with you. Damn.
Now I'm hitting you with the deep confessions so that you don't slip my throat in the night. <laughs> Uh, for all these, but uh, yeah, this has been uh, Pokemon Um Actually, guys. Uh, if you liked the video, you know the drill: like, comment, uh, subscribe, ring that bell. Subscribe if you guys are interested in us going back to the original. Yeah, if you want to, died me down, died me down to do that one because I probably forgot most of it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this has been uh, Pokemon Um Actually. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Devlin, for playing. If you're interested in seeing this yeah, again, yeah, 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 like, comment, subscribe, yeah, like, comment, yeah, subscribe, for more, comment, asking for more of this. Yeah, let us know if you want more of this. I, I really enjoyed making this. Uh, and with all that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful night. And don't forget to correct the idiots. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, bye. <laughs>